Welcome back to the classroom. Come on in. No late pass required. Today, we are getting to something that I have been looking forward to since one year ago. And that is the return of the legend of Vox Machina. We are hopping in to season two today. Episode one, Rise of the Chroma conclave now uh, you guys have been talking this up i've been talking this up a uh, hype is immense i even caught up all the way on the live stream of critical role up to this point and you know what i took your guys advice there was kind of a bunch of advice popping back and forth between should i go in and watch um all the live stream for this storyline in the live stream and a good p a good portion of you actually did say like watch it beforehand but a lot of you said go in blind it's way more fun that way and in all honesty like kind of tallying it up i was like i'm seeing a lot more people saying go in blind and in all honesty i'm totally cool with that because you guys are the mega fans you guys are the ones that have helped me to kind of understand this entire world and learn a little bit more about how it works and the incredible voice acting talents of everyone involved and wow i am so excited about this as last time we left off on a major cliffhanger with um the council making a very big proclamation basically saying that um the uh, the guy in charge who i'm blanking on his name right now um is stepping down as the, uh, the head of the council because of the actions of everything that happened in the first season um, with Lord and Lady Briarwood and how he kind of lost his touch, lost his way. And as he is giving that speech, the bells start ringing and dragons start rolling in. And many people saying like, oh, there was this kind of overall plot, like Lord and Lady Briarwood were only part of something much bigger than them. And already we know that Vox Machina even struggled with that and so I'm curious to see where they go with this but I'm very happy to see the return of all of our favorites here um Percy obviously who is my uh wife's favorite character she's got a bit of a soft spot for the bad boy <laughs> um obviously um Scanlan who is just a fan favorite overall we've got uh the return of Grog uh, the twins Vex and Vax, who I still have to, in my head, say their full names to make sure that I don't get them mixed up. So like Vexalia, Vaxeldan, I have to make sure that I actually say their names outright. Um, we get Keyleth, we get Pike, like I, Keyleth did a lot of awesome things in the last season, as did Pike. Really cool story arcs, kind of mini contained within the big story arc. And so there's a lot that has happened in the first season, and uh, I'm sure that the second season is just going to be as epic as the first. And yes, I am recording this the day it came out because I could not wait. And I am going to be recording the next two episodes as well on the same exact day. So I'm doing this back to back to back to make sure that I don't miss out on anything because I don't want... <laughs> I don't want to get spoiled on anything and so I'm hopefully going to be editing these all this weekend so hopefully you're seeing this video on Saturday January 21st but if you're not then welcome from the future and I hope that you enjoy this reaction to season 2 episode 1 of The Legend of Vox Machina so without further ado let's jump right into the video. All right, can't wait any longer. Season two, episode one, Rise of the Coma Conclave starts right now. Wow, they're starting with um, what we saw the last time around. Vox Machina went to the Council of Tal'Dorei. Yeah, big deal here, yep. These wise patriots. Oh, <laughs> oh geez, I remember just losing it at this part. Uh It can't be dragons. No. Lots and lots of dragons. Oh. Ooh, that's new animation now. 
Oh dear. Yep, that's not good. That's not good at all. <laughs> oh, this music is epic. Yep, everybody leave now. I can only imagine what this must have been like during the live stream. Oh, Ice Dragon. That's gonna hurt. Oh yeah, there goes the tower. Oh man. Jeez, are those bodies down there? He's not even sovereign anymore. We need to get to safety. Sovereign Uriel, that's what it is. Sovereign. Quickly, come. Oh boy. Oh. Get close to me. Yes. Oh. What a badass. Oh. Yeah, that's not good. Who managed to... No! What? What? I can't do this already. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, man. Sovereign's down. Oh, but she's a badass. Ooh. That's why she's the, the lead magic user. Wow, even temporarily. Yes! Lady Kima, come on. Oh, jeez. Uh. Oy vey. Jeez. Who the hell? What the hell? Who the hell? What? What is it? Brother, are you all right? Okay, just Please. there and then not. Just there and then not. It's all good. <laughs> oh boy. Yes! Oh, thank goodness. Not a usual thing. Meet at my shop. Oh my goodness, they're getting separated. Oh, uh, oh, there goes Matt Mercer. <laughs> oh man. Oh my goodness, the chaos. They're just destroying the city. Oh! Not good. Ooh, Keyleth, yes. You have seen you. What? Those are pretty. <gasps> Snow. Intruders. That was her? Yes, come on. Do not die. <laughs> Foot in it? Put a foot in her mouth. <laughs> Is that your best? Wait, it's got magic too? Oh man. God dispelled the magic there. What the hell? Just raining acid, holy shit. Oh man. Oh, and we see the last one. Holy shit. We've only been seeing the other ones. Oh, man. Definitely the one in charge. Oh! Wow! Shit, it's like a nuke going off in the middle of the city. Oh man, the raining acid is terrifying. Jeez, oh, he just blocked it and like it was nothing. Run, where are you supposed to run? You're on a tower, dude. <laughs> That's fucking door that actually helped us. That's first door that <laughs> Your monument shall fall. What the hell?
Holy shit! Wait, all right, we got a regular Godzilla here. Did he just blow all straight through the mountain? Holy shit! You've got to be kidding me! How did you guys deal with this during the live stream? How did you stay quiet? <laughs> Oh boy. They're basically saying we're in charge now, assholes. Oh, huh. I mean, pretty close to it. Oh boy. Ship trying to escape, does not make it. Oh man. There's Gilmore's. Rain. Raining around it. Gilmore. Gilmore's get taken out? Oh jeez. Where is he? At least you healed my face. That's the most important part anyway. <laughs> Gilmore. <laughs> most important. Everyone. <laughs> oh jeez. I don't think I would have been able to handle. Discount item. Ah, screw it. Take it all. Go. Ooh. Fabled lance of dragon slaying. Well, of course. <laughs> that, that would have been too easy. Uh, that sounds close. Everyone, draw near. Let's Ooh, go. teleportation. Coming. Give me your hand. Oh. Yes. Wow. Managed to make it back to their keep. Thankfully, the keep was on the outskirts. Oh, Gilmore, I'd kiss you right now, but the weapons are useless. They're ancient and powerful. Yeah. Chance. <laughs> Way above yeah. challenge rating. Don't like those nasty old lizards either. Do you drink it? I thought dragons didn't get along. You know, these ones do. <laughs> their alliance could mean the destruction of Taldore. This could be the end of civilization as we know it. Yeah, but just by working together. Overrated. What if this is our fault? We killed that blue dragon, Brimsight. Do you think this is? Oh, Keyleth. If it is, it's one hell of a payback. You know, not wrong. Do we want to kill those things. Amon had the biggest army in Taldore until Brimsight dismantled it. Yeah. It's long been in motion. <laughs> they have been working on this. The ones at the gates. Um. Okay, hurry. You'll be safe in here. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be fine. Oh. Uh, and hey, if you go in my the true room, protectors like of the realm. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's not good. Uh oh. Oh jeez. Oh man, explodes and then freezes them. Insane. Oh jeez. Well, there goes their keep. Make it happen, Kiki. Nice shot. Not enough, though. Kind of hard to concentrate while this is happening. I got this. <laughs> hey, Frosty, down here. Oh, no. Sees that they're an illusion. Doesn't even give a shit. Fuck. Am I starting to get predictable? Starting to? <laughs> oh boy, yeah, these are ancient dragons. They're gonna be tougher. Oh jeez, that's gonna hurt. Oh boy, get in, get in, get in, get in. Nice. Oh. You've returned. I'm so stressed. And then some. So what stressed. Imon's been oh. attacked by variegated dragons. Separate out the injured and see that they get medical attention. Right away. Yes, ma'am. Right. Oh. Didn't think I'd be seeing Whitestone this soon, but oh. Aren't you a tough little tyke? Ooh. Uh, okay. Interesting. 
we're safe for the time being. Maybe the Ashari tribes could help us. I need to go for my Aramente anyway. Where you should Ooh. be going is Vasselheim, the oldest, most defensible city in the world. If you're looking Ooh. for Aramente, your best chance is there. Vasselheim's run by religious orders. I've always wanted to go. <laughs> you do I remember to this from it's early. Stuffy. Scanlan, we have to try, right? <laughs> Scanlan doesn't want to die. I mean, that's him saying that he's scared. I don't blame him. What do you say, Scanlan? Up for not going quietly into the night? Oh. Yeah, all right. Let's do it. After all, I can't do my world tour without the rest of the band. Oh. Uh, this is going to be another rough season, isn't it? Make your appeal for help at the What's the tree look like? Big. But not too big. Pink buds. Oh, are they yellow? Her branch oh, that's not helping. In the breeze, a fabulous oak tree, maybe walnut. Yeah, <laughs> that's not helpful. Uh, that enough, hmm. It's good that they got to see each other again. Just a little moment. Oh, ha, oh, oh. ha! It really is the end of the world here. Major Did event. Dispatch them, then you shall claim it for me. And once you have, I recognize that voice. Hunt down those vermin. Show them the wrath of the Kuma Conclave. Why do I recognize that that voice? I know, I know it from somewhere, but they're splitting up. Ah. Uh, oh my goodness! They really did a number. Uh, um, so we, we just finished watching season two, episode one of the Legend of Vox Machina and, um, oh my goodness. Um, we had a lot happen. <laughs> I, I, I'm still a little bit in shock here. I, I don't even know what to do with all of this information. Like so much happened in that just one one episode. And I, I guess just start from the beginning here. <laughs> so we see like part of a clip that I had actually reacted to very, um, very early on when they were starting to advertise uh, this season. And as we saw chaos ensued, just so much death destruction from these uh four dragons here i believe we saw um there was obviously like an acid dragon there was a um i think it was a poison dragon if i had to if i was uh seeing that correctly and then we saw an ice dragon and obviously a <laughs> big old red fire dragon and as the chaos is ensuing people are getting killed left and right and we we had our first death of the season and something something leads me to believe that we're not going to uh, we're not going to see everybody get our way through this um for starters we saw uh sovereign uriel um die a very somber death upon realizing that, you know, he did not make it behind um, the shield that Lady Allura had uh, put up for them. And he just kind of looked somewhat happy for the time being. I thought somebody was surviving for a second, but it was simply just that there was somebody who was just accepting their death. And unfortunately, that was in fact Sovereign Uriel. He was able to survive a little bit longer than the rest, and then he was gone. Down, dead, and... I... Part of me feels like I, I knew that was coming. I wish that I didn't know that it was coming. 
Um, especially with him finally saying, like, he's gonna, you know, dedicate his time to his family. I'm like, son of a bitch, he's never even gonna make it that far. <laughs> and, uh, obviously, even though he was about to secede, um, or he was gonna give his, um, authority to the rest of the council, he was gonna add new council members, and basically it was transitional power. But at the time, like, he's still just announcing it, so he's still somebody who is important in their role and killing the leadership that mercilessly like i don't even know like we don't know if the other um council members even survived they kind of left it ambiguous so we don't even know if they survived i i hope that they did but i wouldn't even put it past them to say that they did not actually survive here and that box machina is unfortunately on their own having to try and gather up support with those from vasselheim uh the the chaos only ensued we saw um obviously lady allura be able to hold off the dragons for a short period of time but the absolute chaos ensuing just everyone getting killed left and right and we see just everything getting destroyed so many people getting killed vox machina having to split up and try to get their way um to uh gilmore's to try and just have a a place to get out of there to try and hide and one of the dragons who i'm sure that we're gonna get to know um some of the actual um dragon names because obviously I'm, I'm blanking a lot of them now they're pretty e extravagant names and i'm definitely gonna look them up after uh i'm done talking about this here but the fact that the poison dragon recognized Keyleth and like they had those stones intruders. Like you could even tell it was like, it was the same person doing the voice. They've been planning this from the freaking second episode, first episode even. And it, <laughs> like recognizing her and just saying like, I know you. Oh, this is gonna be fun killing you. And we're like, no, no, no. Like, run away very quickly because this is not going to go well. These are ancient dragons. They figured that out very quickly. Like, they're able to perform magic themselves in addition to just simply being able to um, have breath weapon. Just being, like, monstrous. Absolutely massive in size. And we already know that, like, yes, they got lucky with the first dragon. And that dragon was smaller. They, they managed to use his ego to their advantage and these dragons don't seem to have that they seem to be working together they're more confident in that regard but at the same time these dragons have been planning this for some time they dismantled most of the army with um uh what was his name uh, i'm blanking right now uh, brimscythe is the actual dragon's name um, but obviously the, um, um, I, I'm blanking on the general, General Krieg, that's the name, that's the name. Um, General Krieg was there just dismantling everything, so obviously this was something that was well planned from the get-go. Um, and obviously we saw how very little prepared these guys were, like, in general for the arrival of four ancient dragons working together. These... These are creatures that do not work together. That much I know from D&D. Dragons are vain creatures. They very much are pompous. They are full of themselves and they don't like working together with other people who are like that. Obviously other dragons, but with four, not just like two of them, two of them working together would be a problem. Four of them working together is way, way worse. And <laughs> like this very much, like Kila put it best, like this, looks like the end of the world this looks like the apocalypse and i can't even say i blame her that was brutal so many deaths they did not hold back at all with the gruesome here we didn't even see like a whole lot of humor there was only like tiny tidbits of humor in this and obviously vox machina just the group in general they are a comedic group and so seeing them at once again, one of their lowest points is just 
really depressing to see like this is really getting into some serious stuff i i thought lord and lady briarwood were the worst enemies that they could possibly face and boy was i wrong because lord and lady briarwood while yes did mess up a lot of things and messed up an entire town and we're sapping out of his resources attempting to bring this it, it was <laughs> I thought this was really funny when I got to the actual um, live stream. It used to be Vecna. The whispered one is Vecna. Like, that is the worst person you could bring back. And yet, somehow, this is worse. Matt Mercer, you gotta chill, buddy. <laughs> like, I, I don't even know, like, how they're gonna end up dealing with this. Like, obviously, they need some assistance. They need to rally the troops here. And... I don't even know who's gonna want to come to their aid. I love the fact that we get a little bit more Whitestone that they had to retreat. Their keep was destroyed. Um, just like, they basically decided like, we need to get some help. Scanlan didn't even want to do this. He's like, we're just a bunch of folks who got lucky. And so like, of course he's gonna say like, we facing one dragon was kind of crazy. And we did it because like, we couldn't save those who we had grown attached to when we went to investigate. Now we're dealing with four, and even one of them would be bigger and harder to beat. Now it's way worse. And if I had to make some predictions here, I do remember Vasselheim being a. Uh... I remember Vasselheim being a tough place. There's, um, it, it almost seems like they're taking some of the earlier, um, earlier stuff that we saw inside of, um, campaign one of Critical Role and maybe rolling it in here, which would be interesting. I would be interested to see maybe, uh, Grog in like the fighting pits, which I know was a storyline at one point or another. Um, and just kind of see, like, I I have this feeling that Vasselheim is not going to be the savior we think it is. I think it's going to be, like, just a ragtag. They're going to have, like, maybe some people will come and help from uh, Whitestone, maybe. Um, but many of them are just working on rebuilding. Like, that's a town that's, like, only finally regaining itself after limping along for decades. And so... I don't know. I, something tells me it's not going to be easy, and like their initial, their initial request is going to be denied, and they're going to have to go like door to door type of deal. But at the same time, I think it's going to end up coming down mostly to Vox Machina here, and I don't even know if all of them are going to make it out alive. If I if I even had to guess, what I end up, uh, what I think is going to end up happening is they're going to divide and conquer, try to take on each of these dragons by themselves to make sure that they can really take them down because obviously these dragons have strength in numbers they came in they blitzed together they attacked hard they attacked fast and they left really only a couple people standing just simply to say like we're in charge of you now you try to run you try to flee you try to fight back we will take away that arrangement of keeping you alive and like mm -hmm, that's a pretty big thing right there um, also, if I'm reading these correctly, Umbrasil. Umbrasil? I think uh, Matt might be one of the dragons here, which wouldn't even totally shock me if I'm being honest here. Um, no, Thordak. I don't remember which which dragons are which names. <laughs> I'll have to go back and take a look here. Um, but I honestly, like in terms of predictions, I think they're going to have to face one at a time and hope for the best and it's going to be a lot of not just deploying to different areas like they're going to be like having to do like full-scale war in the form of the entire continent and i feel like they're going to be just like helping to charge forward in all of this um but i guess really only time will tell there's a lot of indicators for some future things that may or may not happen we saw that little girl with the big green eyes that was looking at grog like almost angrily that I was kind of curious about. I, I wonder what that might entail. 
Um, and then obviously we have um, Vax seeing some weird, creepy, like, figure in all of the destruction, but then no longer seeing this figure when they look back over and I get the feeling like we're going to be seeing a lot of different enemies just as much as we're going to see some new allies. Only time will tell, but this was an epic. I mean, you guys saw my face like I, I'm still trying to process all of this because it is insane. But <laughs> if you enjoyed this and you are a super mega critter here, I would love, 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 love to hear your comments and theories on the matter and anything that I might have missed that I should be paying attention to because I was in shock and awe almost that entire episode. How intense, how insane. Can't wait to move on to the next episode. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed any of this. In the meantime, class, you are officially dismissed and I will see you in the next video. Peace out, everybody.